Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Fanatics Under Wraps Series 1 Autograph Baseball Jerseys. Three box, random team number three. One spot gets you two teams. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's double you up like Sir Mix a lot. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams two and a six, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a two, seven, and eight. Got Frank down to Nicole. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Is that Freddie Freeman with stolen base? Nice. Arizona down to Houston after eight. Now trades are allowed, but trade at your own risk. And there's no checklist for this. So I, don't, I mean, who knows what's inside. Franklin, you got the Diamondbacks. Michael with the Giants, Brian with the Brewers and Nationals, Frank with the Yankees, Eric with the Guardians, Rex, you got your Cubs. Eugene with the Royals, Brian with the Rockies, Rex with the A's, Brian with the Twins, Eugene with the Angels, Eric with the Cardinals, Nicole with the Blue Jays, Eric with the Padres, Mets, Brent with the Orioles, Eugene with the Braves and Pirates, Nicole with the White Sox and the Marlins, Michael with the Red Sox, Eric with the Rangers, David with the Reds and Tigers, Eugene, Phillies, and my Dodgers. Eric with the Mariners. Brent with the Rays. And Nicole with the Houston Astros. Let's sort alphabetically by team. And I will pause the video just for a little bit. So feel free to negotiate some trades. And when we come back, we'll pop this fresh case open. We'll play a little bit of Who Am I? And we'll see who we pull. So stick around. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back everybody, look at this. We got a deal done. Rex and Eugene were able to negotiate a trade here. Eugene is out of the pirate spot and into the A spot. Put T there for trade. And then Rex is out of the Oakland A spot and into the pirate spot. Good luck to the both of you. Let's print and rip, let's see, let's see what happens here. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know. We'll see. Now, there's six boxes uh, in a case, so we're doing a half case break. Um, let's, uh, should we run a randomizer here? Let's just, let's give it a little, uh, Give a little randomization here. So we the original dice roll was eight times. Just for fun, we'll go uh, whatever side on top is uh, is what we'll do. So if it ends up with the top side, I'll open it from the top and pull three boxes from the top. Vice versa if it's on if it's on the bottom. All right. Good luck, sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we'll go right from the top. And again, big thanks to uh, this group for making it happen. Also, I don't think we have anything else sold out, so we can play a, we can play some Who Am I? America's favorite game. I'll give you the clues to the player. And then you try to guess who that player is. There's the first box. So if you're not familiar with this, here's, here's an idea of what we got here. Hopefully there won't be any randomizing things that we got to do. So each box contains one randomly inserted MLB authenticated autograph, that's all those print up there, autograph jersey. Collect from the following collection stars, 
All-Star Inscribe Hall of Fame. Good luck. I guess there is a checklist right there. Ah, so they're still in this familiar blue Fanatics jersey boxes. A little uh, tape on the bottom. I'm actually going to turn off that top camera right there, it's just so I won't reveal this jersey too early. Oh, okay. All right, pretty cool. All right, active starting pitcher in Major League Baseball. Pull up some stats here. It's just writing down on the uh, page here. Well, he's on the IL at the moment, but he's not like he's a retired player or anything like that. Left handed pitcher from Santa Monica, California. A California kid. Um, he's got a career 56 and 26 win loss record. A 305 earn run average and 642 strikeouts. He's an all star, a World Series champion, an all MLB first teamer, a two time all MLB second teamer, a three time gold glover, and a silver slugger when, when pitchers used to hit. You wish Justin Steele had 642 strikeouts and a 56 win record with the Cubs. He might get there someday, but no, not him. Also, um, was drafted originally by the Padres in the first round. And chose to, I didn't realize this. I chose to sign with the Padres for a $3 million uh, bonus. That's a huge bonus for a pitcher. Um, despite my commitment to UCLA. And then I made my professional debut for the Arizona League Padres in 2012 and spent the whole season there. Blah, 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 blah. Played for the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. Rex, you could have seen him in 20, 2013. Blah, 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 blah. Ranked the 43rd prospect in the MLB pipeline. Who do they trade him for? Was number two prospect overall by MLB.com 2014. Injured for much of 2014. Didn't make a season debut until July. Then he went Tommy John and then missed the remainder of the 2014 season. Then in December of 2014, the Padres traded me, Jace Peterson, Dustin Peterson, and Malik Smith to the Braves for Justin Upton and Aaron Northcraft. And then Freed missed the 2015 season. Wow, that was... I guess looking back, it's probably not a good deal. So Braves lefty with 56 wins and a World Series championship with a 305 earn run average and 642 um, career strikeouts. Wow, I didn't realize that. He was with the Braves. No, not Zach Wheeler, not Justin Steele. I have a 94 to 96 mile per hour four seamer. I got a 74 mile per hour plus curveball, which he patterned after Sandy Koufax. An 84 mile per hour slider, a 93 mile per hour sinker, and an 84 mile per hour changeup with the curveball res resulting in the lowest batting average in 2021 with a 160 batting average against that curveball. Ooh. 
Um, he was also part of that, uh, that, there's a high school in Los Angeles called Harvard Westlake in Los Angeles, and uh, played with Lucas Giolito and Jack Flaherty. He's the third guy of that trio. Who am I? Come on, this has got to trigger some, some thoughts here. He wears number 54 with the Braves now. So which is going to go to Eugene. You have the Braves. Any guesses, Eugene, before I show you what you got? And this is cool because I think according to the sticker that I'm looking at here, this is a, uh, a Braves World Series patch jersey. No clue? Max Freed. Yeah, Nick P got it. I think got it in before I said it. All right, so there's his autograph right there. Yeah, he's, he's working his way back from some injury. What's great about this, if you're wondering why, why are these breaks so, so pricey? Because these are officially licensed jerseys. You got the MLB logo right here. Should I show you? I think it's, these are so nice. It's probably worth showing you the jersey, right? Got all the hologram stuff right there as well. And here's the World Series patch right here, which is really awesome. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You got the uh, retail tag still on there as well. I mean, the jersey itself is probably, what, over $100? Maybe $200? All right, Eugene, I'm going to refold that nicely after the break. But congrats to you. You have the Braves. All right. Oh, let me put this card back there. Yeah, he is on the IL, unfortunately, but hopefully he'll be back back soon. Yeah, jamming up uh, jamming up Gilo's fantasy baseball team. All right, let's take a peek in here. See who we have. All right, we got a retired player here. And who's that going to go to? Okay. All right, who am I? My first name is Vincent, but that's not what people know me by. I've got a lifetime 250 batting average, 141 home runs, and 415 runs batted in. Played for three teams my entire career. I'm retired now. And a one-time all-star. Who am I? Now you're thinking 250? 141 home, 141 home runs and 415 runs batted in? Why would I want this scrub? Trust me, you do. Well, his na first name's Vincent Rex, but that's not what people know me by. Mr. Belcher, there you go. Bo Jackson. That's Vincent Edward Bo Jackson. No one was getting it. I was going to read off his football stats as well. That is nice. Bo Jackson and his Royals gear. So that's going to go to... It's going to go to Eugene with another one. Look at that. 
Let's take a look at this jersey too. All right, first off, we got his auto. You got all the all the authentication stickers as well. That's pretty sweet. Nice. This is part of the Cooperstown collection. It's a Mitchell and Ness jersey. You got the old KC right on the front. Gilo's going to be jealous. You got the number on the side. I like the old trim right there. The old perforations that they had in the jerseys back then. There's the Mitchell and Ness tag and all that stuff. It's a good looking. Oh, you have his Raiders jersey too? Nice. The big KC logo right there, which looks awesome. Gilo's definitely jealous. He's a big Royals fan. All right, I'll fold this one up nicely too, Eugene. After this break. All right, and here is the third and final one. The next three boxes in the store. So check it out. Is that right? Rex is saying all three breaks have had one person hit two jerseys. Well, keep joining these breaks, ladies and gentlemen. And Rex, you may be the next person to get two of the three jerseys. This could be three for three for Eugene. Hard to bust open here. Right. There we go. Ooh, Eugene does have the Angels. If we pull an Otani out of here. Be a nice trifecta. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, I am an active shortstop. Am I an active shortstop? Uh, am I an inactive shortstop? Yeah, I'm still active in Major League Baseball. Lefty, I'm one of those bat left but throw right kind of players. A shortstop, lifetime 257 batting average, 999 hits, 134 home runs. 530 runs batted in. Played for four teams my entire career. Currently uh, on a minor league deal with the Mariners, but my jersey is the team previous to that. And a, uh, a Dutch baseball player. That might give, give it away. He actually had some great moments. Yeah, it's D.D. Gregorius. And Eugene with the sweep. Eugene has the Phillies as well. Clean sweep for Eugene. Congrats. Yeah, D.D. Gregorius. I feel like he had some nice years with the Yankees. But just the rest of the career, the rest of the time didn't really materialize. I felt like with the... Let's see if we can get his autograph here. I feel like there's a... The short porch at Yankee Stadium... Probably would have helped him out. He should have stayed there. Yeah, not Yankees edition, Eugene, but you got a Phillies edi edition of Didi Gregorius. There's his auto. There's his... Does it, oh, it goes this way, I think. Got the MLB logo. I, this is a cool Phillies jersey, though. You got the stars above the eyes. We got, this is MLB Player's Choice, Genuine Merchandise, Standard Fit, Nike Jersey. 
You got the Nike retail tag right here as well. The jersey itself, 135 bucks. Oh yeah, there, there's the, the Nike logo right up on top. So, pretty cool stuff. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Eugene, great break for you. Eugene sweeps the break. I'll fold this nicely as well. Um, but thanks, everybody. We got another three boxes in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, let's see what's in the rest of those uh, those boxes. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.